Hello everyone, I'm making this video to discuss and analyze the results of the poll I posted several days ago about which class I should replace Star Wars The Old Republic with and potentially make a large video of my playthrough. First I want to thank you all for voting and answering my other questions about some of the old content, I appreciate it. Now, the results you're about to see are taken three full days after the vote began. So if you check it right now, there surely are some differences, but I'll be discussing it in the state I'm showing to you here. Okay, the first chart you're seeing is how the results of the vote look without taking into account the variation for gender and alignment with the force, instead purely looking at the class distribution. And I realize that if someone voted dark side female Sith Inquisitor, that doesn't mean they also prefer the other variants of the Sith Inquisitor over everything else, but still I'd like to show you the chart this way for the sake of simplicity. And it immediately becomes clear that I'm not going to be playing a Jedi Knight, certainly not right now. Also, a fair amount of you voted other, so if there comes a time for me to do a Republic walkthrough, I'll see how this one goes and decide, I'll probably make another poll and let you vote among all the classes of the Republic instead of just going for the Jedi Knight. Anyway, let's move on to the second chart. This one is rather interesting. It takes into account both the class and the alignment votes, but discards the difference in gender votes. What surprised me here is how balanced the results are for all classes. In every case, the difference between light and dark side is less than 2%. For the Imperial Agent especially, the results are nearly identical. This leads me to believe that, well, either the community is split right in the middle, or that perhaps you would prefer a more mixed personality of the character I play and not purely light or dark side. And I actually prefer that. I prefer not being heavily invested into light or dark, not making purely red or blue choices, and I think it'll make for a more interesting walkthrough in my opinion. I honestly expected to see more of a difference here, so let me know what you think. Is it because people would prefer a more balanced character with a mixture of light and dark, or are they just split evenly? Right, the third chart, which should be on the screen right now, does not take force alignment into account and instead focuses on class and gender. And immediately you can tell that things are quite different here. There are clear preferences for one over the other in different classes. Curiously, the Imperial Agent is the only one where the female gender received more votes than the male. On the other hand, I'm not surprised by the Jedi Knight vote, being the one that leans towards male the most, for me personally, out of all the options in the poll, the female light side Jedi Knight was the least appealing, and your opinions seem to reflect mine in this regard. Now, I'm a little puzzled as to why the male and female Sith Inquisitors are fairly close, while the male and female Sith Warriors are apart by a good margin in favor of the male. I like both female Sith characters and voice actresses, and I think the reason is not that you don't like the female warrior, but rather that you simply prefer the male Sith warrior and like him a lot. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Um, and that is also reflected in the fact that the male Sith warrior beats both Inquisitor genders by over 2% and is the most popular option. Even though, if you remember from the first chart, the Inquisitor class overall had more votes than the warrior. And finally, we come to the real and most messy chart of the entire vote. But before I start discussing it, let me tell you what I picked personally from all the options in the poll. First off, I voted for the male light side Sith Inquisitor and the male light side Sith Warrior. Then, I thought I should also vote for a female character and a Republic character as well. And so, I also picked the male light side Jedi Knight and the female dark side Sith warrior. So these were the four options that I picked. Now why did I pick those four? Well, in terms of the Sith characters, it's because I haven't played these variations. I've played a dark side male Sith warrior and a light side female one, while from the Inquisitors I've played both light and dark, but they were both females. The light side male Jedi Knight I picked because, well, I prefer the male voice actor to the female one, but also because the light side Jedi Knight in general is, how shall I put it, the flagship class of the Republic faction, in my opinion. Maybe even the whole game. 
I'm not going to go in depth about why I think that's the case. I'll probably make a separate video ranking every class in terms of story and giving you my thoughts about them and so on. Well, anyway, it turns out I won't be doing a Jedi Knight based on your vote. Um, so I think the question becomes, should it be a male Sith Inquisitor or a male Sith Warrior? As for the alignment, I believe based on the chart that I showed you earlier, it's going to be a mix of light and dark choices, probably leaning more towards light side because of my personal preference, um, since I've already done a mostly dark side male Sith Warrior and a purely dark side female Sith Inquisitor, I think I should focus a little more on the light side. And still, it's a tough choice to make. If I'm to base it purely on the vote, it has got to be the Sith Warrior. And if I'm to be honest, I think the Sith Warrior storyline is a little better than that of the Inquisitor. Not that the Inquisitors is terrible, but I'll probably save that discussion for another video like I said earlier. So I guess I should play a male Sith Warrior then. Except I've never played through a Shara Zavros' romance. <laughs> I don't know, I suppose if the Inquisitor had more votes, I would then be lamenting the fact that I'm not playing the Sith Warrior for some reason. Okay, I'll have to make a choice and I think it's going to be the male Sith Warrior, with a mix of light and dark side choices, possibly leaning more towards the light. I'll record everything I do on that character and perhaps behind the scenes I'll also play a light side Sith Inquisitor for the Ashara Zavros romance. And finally, for those of you who are still watching until this point, here's a bonus question. Do you think in that big video that I'm planning to make, I should include just the main story of the class or should I also put side quests from every planet? Perhaps only the side quests that I think are interesting? I was thinking about that and still can't really make up my mind so I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also tell me what you think about this vote and my mindset about it. Your comments may still sway me in a different direction. I probably won't start playing until this weekend so I still have some time to think. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and consider enabling notifications for my channel. And until the next one, stay tuned and be good.